What is up gamers? It's your boy Goldenberger and today I'm going to be playing Red Dead Online teaching you guys the best tips and tricks to get animals to spawn and how to rank up quick and earn the most money as a trader in Red Dead Online. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. So for this method of trading and hunting, you're going to want to have the bounty hunter license. You actually need the bounty hunter license for this method because we are going to be going to the bounty board and we are going to be starting a legendary bounty mission. I also suggest you only do this method after you have the hunting wagon. Otherwise, this method is probably just going to be a waste of your time and you're better off just hunting without doing this method. All right. Now that that's all said and done, you're going to want to start a legendary bounty. I'm going to do Yukon Nick, just because that's closest to the Great Plains, which is where I like to hunt a lot. So now that you've loaded into your legendary bounty, you're just not going to want to do the legendary bounty. You're just going to want to go hunt. And for some reason, when you're in legendary bounties, uh, you just get tons more animals than when you're not in legendary bounties. So... I recommend hunting in the Great Plains. There's tons of buffalo there all the time, tons of deers, you know, around tall trees. So I 100% recommend going there. Um, you're gonna want to make sure that you're getting the carcasses or the big skins, um, not skinning them if they're deers. Buffalo, you have to skin them, but you'll get the big skin, which is fine. But otherwise, you're just wasting your space in your hunting wagon if you're getting the skins. Now you're going to go to the place where I just marked on the map. Um, there's going to be tons of buffaloes there, which are probably the best animals in the Great Plains to hunt. Besides getting uh, deer carcasses, but they're a little bit more rare than the buffaloes. Because normally the buffaloes spawn in groups of about 10. Uh, sadly, I did not get a group of 10 buffalo this time. But I will be showing a clip where I did get uh, about 10 buffalo. So it's all about kind of luck, uh, you just you gotta get lucky and hope that you get 10 buffalo. Uh, for some reason, I just got one this time, That have, this has happened only one other time. Normally you will be getting around 10 buffaloes though, and just look for the 3 stars, shoot them. Now in this clip, as you can see there were 10 buffalo, and I shot a 3 star. I skinned it, put it in the hunting wagon, that is exactly what you're going to want to do. And I also, at, right after that, I found a deer, and which was also three stars, so I shot that. By that time, my wagon was full. I could have gone after the buffalo just for their big game meat, but I didn't. I actually suggest you do that because the butcher will pay good money for it. Um, probably like, I think it's like around 60 cents per piece of meat you have. And that's actually a pretty good price if you add it all up.
now when you're all done hunting, your hunting wagon is full of film. Sorry. Um, you have some birds in your pocket, whatever, whatever. You just want to go and leave free roam. Or you can do the bounty if you want, but it's kind of hard when you have your hunting guns. But um, So you just want to leave free roam. And once you load out of that, all your stuff in your hunting wagon will still be there. Now that you are loaded out of the bounty, you are in free roam. Just go over to your menu, go to your stable, vehicles, call back in your hunting wagon, and all your pelts and all your carcasses will still be there. Okay, as you can see, all my stuff is still in the hunting wagon that I got from hunting in the legendary bounty. But now that I'm in free roam, there less animals will be here. It's a lot harder to hunt, so I just recommend doing the legendary bounty and then uh, just hunting from there. It just seems a lot easier. Even if you just have a horse, it could still be useful, even though it probably won't be worth your time. But this is by far the best way to hunt and the best way to level up as the trainer in Red Dead Online. Alright, so once you get back to your camp, you're just going to want to donate everything to Crips. Um, he'll he'll probably be very happy to see all those three stars that you got for him, all those feathers and all that. Um, so every single time that he processes 25 materials, um, you're going to have to go resupply for him. I suggest just doing the resupply missions because you get a lot of XP for the trader roll and because... Um, it's 20 bucks to resupply, which is pretty expensive, especially when you're just starting out and you don't even have the hunting wagon yet. You're just going to want to do the missions. And it doesn't even take that long. It's not very hard. Anybody can do them. You don't need really good guns or anything like that. And that's about going to wrap up the video. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, subscribe if you're new. I know most of you are. I got a small channel and all that. And please like the video if you liked it. Um, leave a comment. See, Tell me what you guys think. Uh, just, I need some suggestions for new videos as well. I want to know if you guys like Red Dead or what other games you want me to play. I could play some Battlefield 5 on the new maps they just released. Um, even though the game is dying. I could still play it a bit, um, you know, anything really, I'll play whatever you guys want. I'm going to be trying to upload a lot more now in the summer because school's out and all that. There's probably going to be a lot more people watching YouTube as well. Um, I know I am, but I don't know about you guys. I So, yeah, just please subscribe and please leave a like. Please comment. Tell me what you guys um, like and all that. And just remember this video whenever you're going out hunting and i'll see you guys later in the next video see ya